For more on the International Workers' Day, I'm now joined by the National President of the Nigeria Union of Journalists, Chris Isiguzo. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. And uh, may I wish you a happy Workers' Day. As it is, uh, journalists uh, in Nigeria and across the world, just like health workers, have been at the front line, keeping citizens informed about developments regarding the pandemic. Uh, but with the economic impact the pandemic is having, when all of this is over, we might just have more people out of jobs. What is your reaction? Well, uh, thank you very much and uh, good evening. Uh, well, you've raised a very uh, critical issue. We have been looking at the post-COVID era. It's not just looking at the challenges that we are facing at the moment, while the, the coronavirus uh, uh, pandemic subsists. Yes, uh, no doubt from a couple of uh, news items that have come across today, uh, some companies are already uh, tinkering with the idea of uh, uh, reducing their, their workforce. That in itself is a challenge that uh, is most likely going to be faced by workers uh, post uh, COVID-19. Yeah, we are also looking at it, uh, but I know that uh, the media industry is a peculiar one. It's not one that uh, one will just wake up and uh, uh, you begin to do away with workers. Uh, our own kind of uh, jobs, is, uh, they are very, very uh, unique. Uh, that uh, you need that expertise, you need that experience, you need that professionalism. So uh, you can't just do away with that uh, uh, within a, a twinkle of an eye. Uh, we are also having our eye on the fact that the uh, post-COVID-19 uh, era is going to be uh, really, really, really worris uh, worrisome. All right. yeah. And while the pandemic is still here, let's talk about what journalists actually face and the line of duty. I mean, just like health workers, we're also at the front line keeping people informed of what is going on. Let's talk about these uh, challenges and uh, welfare packages available for journalists in the country. Well, uh, thank you very much once again. Uh, the uh, challenges uh, we face, uh, I earlier on today issued a, a statement, uh, workers' day statement, and uh, I also tried to uh, paraphrase uh, some of the challenges uh, that uh, we face as uh, journalists. Uh, chief among them is uh, the issue of uh, poor remuneration. Uh, we are about the, the uh, uh, poorly remunerated set of journalists in not just Africa and the globe. That's the truth. And uh, we also have the problem of uh, epileptic remuneration where people work and uh, they are hardly paid. Uh, that also is a problem uh, which uh, if you put them together, you are looking at uh, economic challenge. Because when the journalist is not paid, of course, he has other people that are depending on him or her. Okay. Uh, so, so it has the more like a chain reaction. Indeed. Uh, we also have the problem of uh, safety and security. Every day you see this mindless clamp down, intimidation, harassment, uh, in some cases incarceration as I speak. Indeed, uh, there's a whole lot that journalists out there face <laughs> in uh, so trying to keep people so informed so and educated them. about happenings around. Chris Sizeguzo, uh, President, uh, National President, Nigerian of Journalists. Thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 10.